This social park server is terrifying. So someone was talking to me about joining a Twigon cult. I, it's just an amazing start to this video. And now it's like someone challenged me to battle. If, if I win, I get eight orbs of light. Someone says they want to kill people for, accept, for not accepting their request. It, it, social park is terrifying. But hello everybody, it is me. Welcome back to the video. Now, to celebrate Father's Day and the Father's Day code that came out today, I wanted to showcase the henchum that they actually released. Man, I totally forgot to stack candy this thing before I started this. And now I'm stuck in an endless loop of not being able to find what I want. And this is, this is just sad. Got another 100. Can I find what I'm looking for? Okay. After almost 70 stat candies I finally got what I was looking for. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to try out this Henshim. Now, it's kind of a unique Henshim. And you're going to see exactly why it is super unique. And I'm very excited to give it a try. Now here, hopping straight into it. You can see that it's not a normal, normal Henshim. And if you want to get this thing, the code is Father's Day 2023, if I recall correctly. Um... Yeah, so I'll it just capital. I, I'll have it in the pinned comment in the description. Hopefully, I remember to do that. If not, someone comment it and make fun of me. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna try it out today. And here with our stats, you'll you'll see something interesting. You'll see something. Did I? Yeah, this is pretty interesting. You'll see that it is not in fact attack, as you might think it would be. It's it's in fact magical attack, and that's because this code riff this code riff rat got an exclusive move that normal henshim can't get and i have the trait premonition i think it's better than discovery because ugh, we're ignoring yarn snare we're ignoring point we're ignoring lingering poison and we're ignoring bee summon which are some pretty common things that you can see and then i have the curse cloak just because curse cloak and unfortunately funnily enough this would not be utterly awful if hidden, if you could have access to hidden trade on this thing, but I don't think hidden trade can be on this thing yet. Anyway, hopping to the moves, we have Chi Blast, Dark Blast, Food Fight, and Feral Fury. Now, the exclusive move that this thing gets access to is Chi Blast, right? And I feel like this thing is going to do better in Little Cup because Evolve, it has 55 range attack. But pre-evolved, it has 35, which in Little Cup is still bad, but it, you have access to Chi Blast, which is a 120 base power move, which is really strong. You have Double Stab with Dark Blast. And then we also have Food Fight, it just exists, and then Feral Fury just exists. We're usually just going to be clicking these two moves, and hopefully they do some good damage. We have Feral Fury to hit things like Metacrow if you need to hit them really hard. Uh, Gramantle as well can hit them, which is pretty nice. And with our equipments, we have Theater, Sapphire, and Thingamajig. I think... Ugh, you could probably go with Luminous Orb if you really wanted to. Um, but Thingamajig just gives you more attack and generally just seems like the better option. You could also go Rock Candy or even Dark Bruce just for more magical attack. If you just want to do as much damage as you physically can. Which totally works, but you lose out on a little bit of health, which is why I do like the Sapphire Amulet. And you do lose out on a little bit of magic attack, though. But yeah, this is going to be a complete disaster, but regardless, let's see if this thing can even get a singular kill or even hit Chi Blast for that matter. So without further ado, let's hop into the first battle. This, this took so long to find. I spent like three minutes in queue, which I feel like is not the longest amount of time, but that's like forever. Okay, what can we do and not instantly die? I didn't feel like putting a skin on this thing because I wanted to just like... Yeah, um, if it's hen- it, not henchum, humbiscus lead, this could be pretty bad. But I guess I have, uh, this, which isn't horrible against it. So I'm gonna go into henchum lead and see what happens. I think it goes springling. Ooh. Okay, so this could either be an instant kill or I just end up dying. Um, I could literally instantly kill a threat, which is nice. I'm also pretty threatened by that Xenoxious, but I have Volt Enchant, so I'm not entirely worried about that. Luckily, I don't have to be worried about that. Okay. 
You're going to bubble. As I actually hit my Chi Blast. Okay. We get some nice damage there. So they're, they are raining a bottle. Which now this is going to make this a little bit harder to deal with. But I feel like Skadeen is fine just to stall these rain turns. He may might be stronger in rain. But I, I'm able to heal in rain. And I also have Snap Freeze. Which is going to be able to be super effective because of his Earth typing. Um, but I'm also um, Cursed Cloak. So, chances are I can low-key kill this. We have 118 magical attack. Not 138 attack. It's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Dark Blast here. It's a disarm, actually. That is quite sad. As I can Dark Blast, get quite a bit of it. I got none of their... I lowered their magic defense. Okay. So, this is good. This is good. Let's go for Dark Blast to take this down this bubble. Aqua Cannon comes out. There goes all of my health the game didn't break luckily so that's a that's a plus um okay okay bye um well it died like in okay we're good i didn't i didn't think i was gonna kill wait why do i have health Wait, no, that's not right. Why do I have health? I don't have equipment. Oh, no. I decided to change this up. I'm just gonna go the highest possible magic attack I can get. And just hope it works. I don't know what this is. Freaking out. But, um... If it's a bun swirl lead, I feel like I'm completely fine going Jira, and I actually didn't forget equipments this time. So, I feel like the best thing to do if I'm trying to showcase something that's just not very good is to lead off with it and just hope it works. I fought this person before. Have I, or is their name just Misfortune? I swear. No, that was a lady from, like, Ninjago Dragons Rising. I've been, I've been like, keeping up with, like, the Ninjago series for the... Don't tell you it's lighter. Well, I'll just poison your whole team then. Alright, I'll just poison his entire team. If, if, if he's gonna burn me, I'll poison his entire team. Oh, this is totally wave shot, isn't it? Oh, I don't like it. I'm just gonna go into Remy. Why not? I mean, like, what is he gonna do? Is, is, if it's wave shot, I get to see. I get like 2% of my health back now. Which goes for Harden. Okay, so we're just trying to... Like, sweep me. Are you gonna go Volt Enchant? If you go Volt Enchant, I guess I'll just die. I mean, I guess I can just go into Henchum. So I guess I'm not that worried about it. Plus, I get Poison. So... Yeah, I can just go Henchum if he ends up... Uh, Yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, his entire team's poison. I just have to get this off of the field. And then everything should be pretty dandy. Let me go Riff Rat. Riff Raff, I should say. Okay, as he awakens himself. I don't get his awakening, though. Is it just Storm Heal? Okay, beautiful. We get that off. So now we could potentially go for a pretty big Chi Blast. I mean, your switches into this don't really exist. So Chi Blast is a very strong move for me to click. He can't go into this. That takes half. That's going to take like 30%. That's going to get one shot. Yo. Wait. Bam. Let's go. Half health. That's huge. Okay. Okay. Um, of course, we're going to go straight back into this. Z clicks Belch. Okay. Good to know. Um, I'm just going to click Shockwave again. I mean, I can click that because you don't have Conductor anymore. So I'll just kill this thing. Bye. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, his entire team's poisoned, 
while I have a burned and a poison. And I feel like that works out better for me. Um... This is a little scary, because if Jira... Mmm... Crystal Cut, yeah, that's doing a lot. Kind of. I mean, now I have Toxic Bomb, which you're switching to this is, like, not many things. You can't really switch into Toxic Bomb. Henshim taking down the, or like, threatening out the Golden Chance, nice though. Because he was expecting melee, because he thought it was going to be good. He didn't expect it to be bad, so, we good. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Crystal Cut comes out, so we end up going down. Nice, we take down the Lazar with not a lot of issues. The problem is I'm very worried about Zapoera. Yeah, that comes in now. You know, if this is max speed, I actually live the hit. Which is funny. Um, I know he's gonna helicopter. Or would you lightning? It's really up to what he wants to do. I feel like afterward, though, Volt and Chance, fine. I don't really want to lose this, but... I don't know. Um, I feel like my Zapoera is really good in the late game. Unless that's fast food. If that's fast food, I have that. So I guess I'm not worried about that at all. I'm just gonna talk to Bomb. Like, what if I lived? That did eight. Eight. Ain't no way I freaking live. I, I knew I was gonna live, too. I knew I was gonna live, too. Oh, my God. Bye. That is perfect. Okay. That is perfect. Okay. This allows me to go Remy completely for free and just Storm Heal. Like, there's literally zero reason to not Storm Heal. Once I click Storm Heal and he goes for... Yeah, he goes for Helicopter. Two. Three. Four and five. I just heal everything that he just did right back. Boom. And I actually get more health out of it. And he's going to be dying to poison next turn. You can't hit and run because then you take you get everything else poisoned. Um, I can literally just storm heal again. It doesn't matter. He hit and runs. Okay, he actually does go for the hit and run. He actually crits me, which is funny, but that doesn't matter because I'm just getting max health. I mean he his zap wear is pretty much dead as he goes into Volt Enchant. And that's fine, we can just go straight back into Henshim. Which, he probably wants to click Climate Shot. Um, if he clicks Climate, I'm Cursed Cloak, so I really could care less about that, because I'm going to take almost nothing. Yeah, I should be completely fine going back into Henshim. Or Riff Rat. Riff Raff, I should say. Riff Raff, Riff Raff, Riff Raff. And then she goes for Psycho again. Not the Climate Shot, which is an interesting play. So, this is a completely free Chi Blast again. We have not missed Chi Blast yet. So I feel like I should be very happy with these results. Okay! Yeah, we get 50%. It's not bad. I'm gonna click Dark Blast now, because I feel like I'm gonna miss Chi Blast. These Shock Waves, as I get my Dark Blast off, not doing nearly as much as Chi Blast, but we're doing good. We're getting something. So now I'm gonna click Chi Blast. He, could, he can't Storm Heal, because he's dead. Oh, please tell me I hit my Chi Blast. No, I missed. No, I missed. No. No, I killed that too. Oh, that's so sad. That's really sad, man. I mean, you can trade, but then I don't really think it matters. If he clicks trade, it's, it Chaos Assault came out? Or is that Blaze Punch? Takeout, okay. I mean, you have Volt Enchant now, but that you're either going to click Shockwave or you're going to Storm Heal, then I go right back into Henshim. Then I have the option of clicking... Actually, if he shockwaves, I'm fairly certain I'm dead to the next move. So I would have to go my own Volt Enchant on shockwave. Then he has Kadiri, but I don't really think that's... What? Huh? I just literally... That doesn't do anything. <laughs> I don't get the play. Yeah, uh, you can live one more turn. Yeah, he has Storm Heal, actually. He does have Storm Heal, so go back into Henshim. I have no reason not to go into Henshim. Yeah, he does have Storm Heal. And I have Chi Blast, which is completely free to click. I just have to hit my Chi Blasts. 
which hopefully I can. Let's cheap blast. I wouldn't recommend using this, by the way. Oh, I have to kill on something. Dead. Yes, dude. Yes. Okay. Now, Kadiri can come in. Right? Kadiri is completely free. But low key, what if we lived with... We take 50% reduced damage. I don't think we're ever going to live this hit. Let's go for Chi Blast. It's the riskier move, but it will guarantee a kill if we end up actually living. Oh my god. Yo. Ranged Henshum is the meta. You can tell. <laughs> I should not have lived that in any reality. There's no world where I should have lived that. Sick. Okay, tell me the rain doesn't go down. Tell me it stays up for one more turn. That's, like, very good for perfect. Okay, so now we go into our own. Now, the reason we wanted the rain to stay up for one more turn is because if we go into our own Volt Enchant, we set up rain and he spams Storm Heal while I'm spamming Psycho Force and I'm slowly losing health and it'll just be a longer battle. Whereas this, he can only click Storm Heal once. And then he doesn't get as much health back and Psycho Force should pretty much negate the damage along with the poison. We're getting too much damage on him and he can't handle it. Along with me being poisoned, it's just going to take two Psycho Forces and he's dead and he can't do anything to stop it. Yeah, he's going to be spamming Storm Heal. He can't win this. There's nothing that he can do. It takes a 15% chance for me to win. And he's losing more health than he's gaining. And he's at, he was at 49 and now he's at 41. He's losing 8% a turn. If he clicks Psycho Force himself, as I go for my Psycho Force, and he's not, he, now it's, now it's game. The reason it's game is because, oh, he can just click Storm Heal. No, because we're doing 8% before and he's at 2%, so we can literally just click Psycho Force and it's over. He can't Storm Heal. Good game. Good, good game. I'm not gonna lie. Hensham kind of went crazy. I got paired with the same person like seven times. It was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, but here we are. Um, I don't really know what it's going to do this game, but let's find out. I The Jeer Sarah is what I'm mostly worried about because we can't really break it. Oh. Wait. What if he thinks I'm just going to pursue him? right just no oh wait we got damage <gasps> yo the crit half his health is is just vanished molten chance free then we awaken or do we want to awaken hit and run comes out yeah i think we just awaken whatever the heck he sends in okay half health and level tattoo for 10 percent on my other guy i'll take it um, let's just straight back into Henshin. Because I don't take that much from that at all. And then here I, uh, I Chi Blast on Abyssin coming in on the Dark Blast. Or he goes straight back into the thing he would. Okay, bye. I don't get the, the, is he going to do the exact same thing? What? 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 I, 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 <laughs> Hello? What's the logic here, man? Oh, he cooks gem blasts now. Okay, look. There goes a little bit of my health that I can just go into Henshin against. Okay, there goes half of your health. Okay. Uh, Kona Cole comes out. I'm gonna go Skadeen. I don't know how I'm gonna actually deal with this thing. I mean, yeah, he's gonna go Kona Cold. Or he's gonna Gem Blast, I get. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it at all. Um, if he has Boo, I'm pretty sure Skadeen dies. Boo, and I think Skadeen dies. It was hot, and he completely missed me. Okay, sick. Bye. Um... Okay, feeling pretty good after this because he immediately sacked off one of his most important things. Okay, I'm assuming you're going to click an electric move. I don't really know what he's been doing this whole time, but I'm going to take it. Okay, so he clicks Thunder Strike. 
Um, I can toxic bomb, there's no reason not to. This man has been playing so predictably. Thank you. Oh. So I know what that and Paraflame's doing then. Okay, so this this Voltad is essentially dead. It, it's basically one HP. There's not much that it can do. Senor Harafe. Okay. Is it? Uh, it's probably just Senior Giraffe. I probably just like swore an ancient Roman. I'm gonna go Lingering because it's free. I mean, he has Seam Knight, and I have Grimantle against this. And if they go Seam Knight, yeah, I just I can go Grimantle here, and then I threaten Night Knight. I just, I, I don't like Jirocera here. This is difficult. I, I, I don't like fighting this. I'm just gonna heal up, get out of there. Okay. Okay. Toxic Bomb's a better move in that scenario, but I can see why that works. Um, just gonna hit and run. We also have Henshim for Premonition. We have Premonition Henshim here. Ooh, we can make that play and then spam Dark Blast, hopefully. Ooh, let's do that. Look, we ignore entry hazards. So we can go into Henshim literally for free. Yup. We dodge the entry hazards. And we are completely free to click Dark Blast. You can go Abyssin. Yes, I all, I have Skadeen for that. But I'm going to need to go Jirocera first to get rid of the traps. Hemlock hit comes out. I take little bits of damage. Dark Blast. N not doing even close to enough. <laughs> oh no. How do I beat this? <laughs> I don't need this anymore either way. It's nice for Seam Knight, I guess. But I'm pretty much dead to Seam Knight and I have Grimantle anyway. Oh, I want him to sack this off immediately. I really don't want to deal with Jira, Sarah. This is annoying. Um, now I'll go Jira. Maybe I can, um, kill him. Maybe I can kill him. Maybe. Maybe he's, he lets me. I don't know why he would let me, but maybe. Is he gonna go Seam Knight? Seam Knight's your play. I mean, it's, it's a pretty, it's a good play. Seam Knight really works here. Yeah. Alright, Seam Knight. Zero skill mon. I will always hate Seam Knight. I will never respect Seam Knight. Never. Iron Slash comes out. I don't die to that, and I have Crayon, so I should heal. Yeah, and then I have the option of uh, Night Knighting, which you can't go into Abyssin because then it's poisoned. Then I get to go into Skadeen, which is fine. No, as he sacks that off, which gets me a little bit of my health back. He's trying to get a safe switch back into Jira. That's what he's doing. <clears throat> and then I don't know if he clicks lingering or any, something else. Ah, the Jir is annoying because I can't go straight into Volt Enchant. I can't. That's my thing. I can't go into Volt Enchant. I'm gonna hit and run. Maybe he lingerings. You know, he talks six. Okay, he's he's a green arrow gamer. He's a green arrow gamer. That's good to know. I know 100% that Volt Enchant lives Rusty Root. So, we could Storm Heal, and then Psycho Force, because, how much attack do we have again? 184. I think Psycho Force would kill it in this range. Let's go for it. I think Psycho Force, I want to do that just to instantly kill this. I want to get rid of this thing, because I don't want to deal with it. I am so upset that didn't kill. Now I have to deal with even more of Jirocera, which I don't want to do. I don't want to deal with Jira Sarah, but I have to, and I hate it. I hate this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. 
and just hope lightning kicks kills. He has Seam Knight though. God, this I don't I can't beat Jira. I can only beat it with Skadeen now. Oh, this is awful. I hate this a lot. Is this also yeah, it's also crayons because this guy doesn't know what other items to use. Hit and run. Whatever. He could click scissor guard, I care less doesn't do anything. He takes chip here. And I do I do get crit, but I feel like that's fine as long as I'm getting chip on the seam knight. I know you're gonna scissor guard because that's the only thing CNET users know what to do. Just click scissor guard. I wanted to lingering, but there's no point because he can just go in a Jira. Like there's just no point. He knows. It's I don't care. Do what you want. I'll let you choose. Um Stay in. There you go. He, I'll abuse this. Right, he's boring. The, the amount of skill it takes to use C Knight is immaculate. I don't think I could ever get to the point of C Knight users because of the amount of talent that they show. Every single day, C Knight users just have a something about them that just make them so good. I'm just kidding, see that users are dumb. I don't respect them. I will do everything in my power to kill the scene knight. Everything in my power to kill the scene knight. Just stay in. Shadow lurk for all I care. My senior giraffe. And what's my switch into this? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. And he has Imperial Flame as well, which this dies to. I can't beat the Imperial Flame. Yeah, the Imperial Flame's the, the reason I'm gonna lose. I'd have to get Zapuera in versus it. Um, bye. Okay, I don't... Not a lot you can do when there's a Seam Knight and a Jirisera. And your dark type user is ranged Henchum. There's not a whole lot that can happen with that. Maybe he clicks Hemlock or something. Maybe. Maybe he lets me kill this. Please let me kill it. Please let me kill it. You want damage on. Oh, I can like actually live for a little bit. Oh my god. Finally, that's dead. Gosh, that was annoying. Yeah, the tiger gets to come in now, and that gets a plus two speed boost. Well, he has to miss Chi Blast. Oh, he's gonna mind empowerment first. Well, I liked playing the game. Oh, and it's heal jelly. Well, bye. Um, I enjoyed this, but I'm not gonna win. Ain't nothing I can do. Yeah, there's not much you can do when there is a scene night. Maybe I outspeed. Maybe it's super slow, but it's not. It's it's not. I'm. It's. Maybe it's not six star. Maybe it's not six star. Maybe I'm dead though. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, so sad. I will never respect scene night users, and I want that. I don't like it. I don't like scene night, and I just think it's dumb. Like, you can deal with it real easy if you're prepared for it, but there's- I, I- I just- I don't like preparing for something that's just not fun to fight. It's just lame, and I think it's stupid. But regardless, don't use range Henchum. Just- just don't- the- the Father's Day thing came out and I was like, maybe some people want to see if it does something. It doesn't. Don't try it. Anyway, bye, 3 out of 10.